All right, and welcome back. Well, earlier in the program, we heard from Common Ground volunteer Paula Peterson about the importance of ponds and pastures and the effects of dry weather. And now Paula's back with a recipe and Taryn is joining her now with more. Thank you, John. We always love Wednesdays because we get to hear from our Common Ground volunteers. And we really love Wednesdays when they actually come into the studio. <laughs> <laughs> and so Paula has a great recipe today. This is a Nutella twist. Yep, it's just a fun little snack that you can grab on your way out um, in the morning. Mm -hmm. You could throw it in your lunch box. You can have it when kids get home from school. Um, you get a little, lot of protein in it because the Nutella is mm -hmm. a good source of protein. I did add, throw some nuts in there this morning to pop that protein level up a little Ooh. more. Super, super easy. Okay. All you do is you take your Nutella and spread it over one half. Okay. You want to do that? Sure. And this is our puff pastry yep. here. And you, yeah, it's just puff pastry and you just do one and get it pretty close. Okay. Yep. Um, like we were talking, you could do melt some peanut butter if you wanted to add an extra mm -hmm. level of fun and flavor. Tom is not a huge Nutella fan, so I have to come up with other ways. But Yella, the mm -hmm. foreign uh, German student that lived with us the first semester, he loved Nutella. And so I wanted to find fun ways to um, treat him. To, to treat, get yeah. him something different rather than just Nutella on toast. So you wouldn't have to use Nutella. You could no, use No, you could use anything. peanut butter. Yeah. Um, and if you really, I mean, you could do like apple pie filling. True. And, mm -hmm. and do something, you know, you'd have to chop that up pretty fine though. Yeah. Because otherwise I think, but you could just do bigger twists. How far to the edge do you want it? That'd be pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Um, go ahead. And I just I keep cinnamon sugar sprinkled, mixed at my house all the time. Good point. Yeah. Okay. That's and that looks good. Okay. And then if you want nuts, you can put nuts. I like nuts because I like that extra protein. Well, that and the I like crunchy stuff. Crunchy stuff. Yeah. Okay. And then great. from here, just take the other top. Mm -hmm. Here and just lay it across the top. Okay. You're really putting me to work here. I am. But that's, that's okay. Good. Okay, great. And then just boom, boom, boom around the edge. Okay. And then you use your handy dandy pizza cutter and okay. making them whatever slice you want. Yep. Yay. Well, that cuts really easily. It does. There we go. Okay. And then just take it. Oh. I need to cut it deeper. That's I okay. didn't know you were going to demonstrate further, Paul. <laughs> well, there. You just twist. Twist it around. Do an egg wash on it. Bake it 20 minutes at 350. You're good to go. And there you are. Okay, so I got to give one a try here. And Tom does like these. They're okay with Tom. He's not a huge fan, mm. but he'll eat them. I like puff pastry anyway, so these are really good. Yeah, I like puff pastry. You can do anything with mm -hmm. it. Kids would love these. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they're super simple. They can go into your lunchbox and stay all day. Love it. Okay, well, this recipe is on our Pure Nebraska Facebook page and on my Facebook page if you want to copy it down and try it for yourself. Paula, thanks. Thanks for having me. All right, back to you.